Hi, it's Jody. This is the Daily Jody, episode eight, even though it's day nine. Last night we had a horrible rainstorm and the thunder above the trailer was so loud it sounded like it could wake the dead. It was raining sideways. It was coming in some of our slanted windows and it was coming in our vents and the ceiling and it was like, oh my God, close everything. It was crazy. So I went in the bathroom to make a video and it was way too loud. Like I couldn't even hear myself think. So I just had to skip yesterday, but I'm going to make this short and sweet because I'm tired. It's been a long emotional day. Oh my goodness. So I woke up and like a whole bunch of stuff went wrong, like in the first hour. And then I don't know, just like plans, like everything I thought my day was going to be did not happen the way I thought it was going to be. And the beautiful part of it was that I had a lot of gratitude and I was able to stay in the moment. And then in the afternoon, it got really hot and I was just like, ah, cause we were sitting at a rest stop. Basically, um, it was just one of those days where we were being shown, you need to sit still, you need to sit still, you need to sit still, get the rest. You drove too far in three days, you went through three states, you're exhausted, you need to sit still and rest. And in the morning when it was breezy and cool, it was like, oh, no problem, we could handle this. And then in the afternoon and evening, it got like really sweaty hot and I was just like, eh. And there was a couple hours there where I was just feeling really down and really cruddy and just oh, road weary, just tired of this whole thing. Like, and I tried to make a video and I was just like, eh, not feeling it. And then I remembered that what serves me and what keeps me on my path is feeding my soul the right kind of just media, the right kind of stuff. And I watched a couple people who I really love and admire. Um, I went on Facebook and I watched Ideas with Ideas on Toast with Lisa Taylor. She does these amazing videos. They're like usually around four to six minutes. Not too long, not too short. She tells a little story, gives a really great lesson. I love them. And tonight's was just what I needed. And then I watched um, Dave Gieselman with the Daily Diesel Live. And I love Dave. He always just like, he's the shot in the arm that I need to stay. Jody. <laughs> And today he just, again, both of them so powerful every day. Oh my gosh. And it just, it really reminded me, like, I know that I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of. And I know that there's a reason that I did all this and that I keep moving forward in my freedom life. But some days you get hot and sweaty and you're sleeping in a Walmart parking lot really wishing that you had, you know, shelled out for some electricity tonight. And it just wasn't meant to be today. And I was just getting really, ugh. And then as soon as I put the right kind of energy back in and the right kind of stuff into my awareness, it snapped me right back to who I was. And so I was starting to feel better. And then a friend reached out and started messaging with me. And again, I was reminded who I am and what I'm capable of. And it was really beautiful. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful because this afternoon I wrote a blog post about being in gratitude. And it was so beautiful and I was so in the moment. And then this afternoon and evening, I just was like totally on the flip side of that and just like, uh, I'm hot. I'm tired of being on the road. I just want to like start whatever's next in my life. And I just felt really stalled out. And then I was reminded that I'm supposed to be being, not doing, and it's okay to stop doing for one day and just be. <laughs> and then tonight everything shifted back again and I'm going to bed feeling really good and who I am, you know. Um, so I guess the lesson today is learn to be okay no matter what's going on. No matter what you're feeling, you're always exactly where you're supposed to be in every moment. And like Lisa was saying in her video tonight, you need to have the down. You need to have the low to keep you humble, to show you the contrast and understand why it's so great to feel good 
because you also know what it feels like to not feel good and that's kind of the same thing I was talking about with my friend when we were messaging is you know you have these times where you're just like and you just feel lost or unsure or just ugh, just you know sometimes you're just crabby and you just want to be crabby and just feel it and just eh. <laughs> and so yeah I had some of that today it needed to happen it needed to happen so that I could just go eh, and let it out and now it's gone and I'm back again and yeah you're allowed you're allowed to be human and you're allowed to have feelings and feel them and allow them and be okay with it and don't fight it and the good will come back faster and I'm so blessed that I honor it and I realize it and my good comes back faster and faster every time it's a nice feeling it's been a good day and I love that I can say that like at the end of every one of these it's been a good day because isn't that all that matters? Life. You know? I'm feeling good. I think I'm done. Have a good night.